Hello Satnam, it's me Shakti Sundari and it's Saturday here in London in England and I'm back with you for the next Radiant Yukti verse from the Radiant Sutras by Lauren Roche. I was just reading through the um, Sanskrit and uh, I'm really, really loving the sounds of today's verse. It's really delicious. So let me read Yukti verse 28 from the Radiant Sutras, Lauren Roche's translation of the Vajnana Bhairava Tantra. Yata tata, yatra tatra, dvada shante manakshipet, prati kshanam kshinavrite vailakshanyam dinai bhavet. So beautiful. Um, I'm going to read it again just because I love reading it so much. Yata tata, yatra tatra, dvada shante manakshipet. Pratikshanam kshinavrite valakshanyam denai bhavet. And then on to the English translation. This body is sustained by altars to the radiant nectar of life. Around you, an ocean of air, ready to become your breath. Above the head, the glow of an invisible sun, within the spaciousness of the heart, a pulsing throb of creation, where the breaths meet, fuse and transform into each other. Whenever, wherever your mind wanders, whatever you wonder, return to the luminous. Choose any altar, throw your attention again and again into one of these centres where spirit and flesh consummate their love. Day by day, old whirlpools fade, the endless circles. You are living in the temple of essence. Hello, Al. Mm. so 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 beautiful what I love especially about this is the notion of well so I mean I love everything about it actually but the line that really jumps out to me of all of these lines is these centers where spirit and flesh consummate their love so there's this notion of a constant lovemaking going on within our being. This constant meeting of the energy of life and consciousness or conscious awareness. Or as it says here, spirit and flesh. So flesh, what is manifest, what we can touch and feel, this physical body in which we are incarnated. And spirit that divine flow of life which is in us and around us. So the finite and the infinite constantly making love, the masculine feminine energy is constantly making love within our being. So this for me is the true nature of Tantra. It's this um, ever-present sexuality in its highest expression, making love all the time in and around us. So let's just go back through the verse for a little bit more, a little bit more juice. This body is sustained by altars. So once again, what I love about this is that um, all of these practices, all of these meditations are making, um, are, are kind of introducing the paradox of making the body and all of its functions um, holy. So often in religion and traditional spirituality, we, the, the body and the mind or the flesh and the spirit have been divorced from one another, just like sex and heart or sex and spirit have been split off from one another. But the thing about these practices is that 
this very real earthy primal being body is holy so this body is sustained by altars so by altars we think of a place where we will worship where we will offer our devotion we bow down in honor to these altars within the physical body so this body is sustained by altars to the radiant nectar of life and you know the nectar of life that is the strap line for my business for for many 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 years you know everything that I'm about is about the nectar of life the juice of life the essence of life the radiant nectar of life around you an ocean of air ready to become your breath isn't that beautiful so this notion that you're in a massive vast ocean of prana of life force of air and all that is needed is to inhale to bring that radiant life force into your own being even that in itself is holy above the head the glow of an invisible sun you can think there of your crown chakra, you can think there of the divine cosmic consciousness above you, the central sun, however you want to envisage and imagine that. We know that um, in meditation and with awareness, when we focus our energies there, there is an opening. Just sitting very quietly, for example, in the morning, sometimes I just do a meditation where I feel into my physical body and then I just with my awareness open my crown and I feel divine light pouring into my body above the head the glow of an invisible sun within the spaciousness of the heart and again we're speaking here of the heart chakra in the center behind the breastbone a pulsing throb of creation where the breaths meet fuse and transform into each other so there was this practice that we did right at the very beginning with one of the first um, Yukti verses. One of the first meditation practices was to become aware of the in and the out of the breath. And then to pay attention to the place where the in and the out breath meet and fuse into one another. And then even another practice was to rest at the top of the in breath and at the bottom of the out breath in that still point before the next phase of the breath begins and in those meditations what can be experienced is that the in and the out become one we discover there is no distinction between the in and the out the inside the outside eventually there's just a sense of circularity or of merger and again that is this love making the becoming one of the yin and the yang within us the masculine and the feminine within us the spirit and flesh that we are become one Whenever, wherever your mind wanders, whatever you wonder, return to the luminous. Again, that notion of divine light that is always there, always. Choose any altar. So he has just, you know, it's Shiva who is speaking to Shakti here. He's just named a few places or altars, the ocean of air, the breath, the glow of the invisible sun, the pulse of the heart, the throb of creation, the place where the breaths meet, but really choose any altar. It could be any place in this divine physical body. Throw your attention again and again. So again, the practice of meditation is just simply taking our awareness to one thing. Throw your attention again and again into one of these centers, just one place, where spirit and flesh consummate their love. Breath is love. The heart is love. The radiant sun is love. We are love. Essentially, everything is love. Day by day, old whirlpools fade. Old whirlpools fade. The endless circles. Make 
new in every moment. Life is new in every moment. If we let go and allow life to move within us and through us, every moment is now. Every moment is precious. Every moment is completely new. And whatever was before, whatever we thought we were before, whatever was happening before is not now. You are living in the temple of essence. How beautiful, how divine to remember our holiness, to remember our divine perfection, to remember this body as an altar of the divine. And that knowing is enough in itself for us with ourselves but also it's a notion that is wonderful to take into our relating and into our love making with another to regard this other as containing many altars to the nectar and the radiance of life to honor them in this same way to pay homage as we touch as we breathe as we kiss as we caress to honor this altar this sacred one and in so doing of course we are actually honoring that within our own being oh yummy 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 such a beautiful yukti verse for today i hope you've enjoyed that join me tomorrow for the next yukti verse from the radiant sutras and thank you so much for being with me today lots of love to you satnam